with most of the culprits being migrants. The problem of no-go Muslim ghetto areas where police, ambulance and firemen are attacked by mobs continues to worsen across Europe. Last month, four major welfare organizations in Germany warned that Muslim migrants were raping women and children at a camp in Hessen. Did you see CNN, BBC or Sky News cover this? No, they were too busy obsessing about a Hungarian camera woman who tripped someone up. Did you see them report on a school in Germany which has ordered girls not to wear shorts so as to avoid being raped by migrants located at a nearby gymnasium? Why is anyone who even questions the logic of allowing millions of people from a completely different culture to flood Europe with no assimilation plan whatsoever immediately denounced as a racist or a xenophobe by the media. 4. EU countries are exploiting the migrant crisis to import huge numbers of people who will eventually vote for more big government and more EU bureaucracy. The claim that Europe needs huge numbers of immigrants for cheap labour is a complete myth. Look at Sweden. 58% of welfare payments go to immigrants. The Czech Republic, which didn't open its borders to mass immigration and maintained a stable population for 100 years. A clean, toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser. With concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others, Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different cleansing products. We use decades-old scientific research to put together the Rolls-Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research, and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. Visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. Welcome back. Joining me in studio now is Joe Biggs. Now, Donald Trump was in Dallas last night. He gave an impromptu uh, speech in front of what looked like tens of thousands of people at the American Airlines Center there in Dallas. Uh, I guess it was a t testament to his popularity, the fact that it was so last minute and all of those people showed up. Joe, what did you think about the Trump show? Uh, like I said, I, I wouldn't know with an open mind. And like a lot of Americans, I like what he's been saying, the fact that he's not filtered, you know, a little rough around the, the edges, not your typical career politician. But I got to be honest with you. I know that's going to piss off a lot of people out there. But after last night, I'm not so uh, Trumpy anymore. Sold on the Trump. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to have to hop off the Trump train, uh, Trump train, <laughs> the so Trump to say. <laughs> the, Trump, the Trump chain. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it was a little bit ridiculous, you know. Instead of doing what you're supposed to do in a presidential debate, talking about issues, bringing problems to the table, giving us solutions to how you're going to differ from the other candidates that are running, he didn't do that. Right. So, well, he's basically was given what was it about seventy minutes of prime time coverage. Uh, many networks were covering it live. 
So he's there, he's being given prime coverage on all these different networks, and he's basically just bragging about himself, a lot of empty rhetoric, calling people losers, doing a lot of name dropping with all of his rich friends, and just waiting, waiting. How long was it until he actually brought up an issue? I, I didn't even know it was 70 minutes. I thought it was three hours long. I mean, I was at a point where I was sitting there and my knees were swelling up and I was at the very front row. And I was like, oh my God, I wish this would just be over with right now. This is the thing, you know, I've had a lot of feedback since I talked earlier today on the Alex Jones, like, hey, Donald can't talk about every issue, right? But he hasn't at least talked about one issue with a good solid plan yet. But when he does, it's going to be a hundred times better than any, but any other thing, issue But this is the thing, though. He's going out. He's campaigning hard. I give him that. He's going out. Yeah. He's, he's, he's delivering speeches. Pick one issue, one issue per speech, and really hammer in the stuff. Because like you said, he's going to get that prime time coverage. We can then put together and comprise, all right, this is what Donald Trump's all about. Right. Right now, it's all over the place. Well, he's been really hammering down on immigration. So what did he have to say about that last Build night? Build a wall. I mean, it's almost like Lindsey Graham. What are you going to do about Planned Parenthood? We're going to send 25,000 troops to Iraq and Syria. I mean, you're, you're giving us another problem to a problem. You're not really right. bringing me a solution. Well, and, and that's what I'm looking that, for. Well, they've been saying that for decades. Build a wall. I'm going to build You elect me. I'm going to build a wall. And you've been down there. You've seen the wall. And you can that's dig under it. That's not a solution. You can dig under it. You can acetylene gas torch, cut it down, and you can hop over it with a ladder. And by God, I've seen him do some other, some crazy stuff as well. I mean, dig a tunnel. I mean, my goodness. We got to work on other stuff within here, how to, a path to legal immigration. We got to figure out a way we can get these people on the right track instead of just taking them, throwing them, letting them loose, and then going, all right, well, I'm going to solve, you know, illegal immigration because in two years, I'm going to have them all taken out of the country. Well, that's going to be Nazi Germany. That right. means the government's going to have to come door to door finding illegal, immigration, uh, illegal immigrants and going, are you an American citizen? I already have to go through that at the Border Patrol checkpoints in Falfurious, Texas. I don't need that right. at my own place. <laughs> right, exactly. And, you know, obviously, really the issue is stopping the incentiv incentiv stop incentivizing, you know, people coming here in the first place. So now I know we talked to you last week when you were wearing this Hillary for Prison T-shirt you almost got punched in the face at the yeah. bar because someone misread it thinking that you were a Hillary supporter. That didn't happen last night. You were amongst <laughs> the people, I guess. There was 20,000 people in the American Airlines Center. And this girl came over, she's a fan of the show, and eventually it got to a point where I was like, oh, what do you think about this shirt? You know, this is a new shirt. And as soon as I opened up, I did like the Superman pose and unbuttoned my shirt and I had the Hillary for Prison 2016 shirt on under it. The entire section in front of me jumped up and everyone saw these people taking pictures of me. And then I turned and then the entire section over here jumped up and they're all <laughs> taking pictures. Next thing you know, I'm just, I'm walking around in the aisles, up and down the stadium, through there taking pictures with everybody. I mean, it was ridiculous. People are on the edge. A lot of people are on the edge about Donald Trump, but there's no one on the edge about Hillary Clinton. I can tell you that. Most people I talk to, I'd say in the 90th percentile are anti-Hillary. They don't want her. Right. And I, I got it. We got to go to this clip. It's a it's an awesome clip. I'm standing there in the front row and I'm down on my knees. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself like, all right, all right, I got to promote this shirt somehow. How am I going to do it? <laughs> and I just jumped up and pulled my shirt up and I said, Hillary for prison during the Clinton <laughs> speech, right? in This lull. So uh, or during the Trump speech. So uh, go to that. <laughs> Hillary's not surging. I tell you that they're not saying that. They're not saying. Thank you. And so he looks over and goes, thank you. <laughs> you he was just talking American, about, Joe Biggs. He was just talking about Carly Fiorni. And uh, so I jumped up and I was like, ah, we don't want to talk about her. Clinton's more of the issue. That's what we need to worry about. So I was like, all right, this is my time to seize it. Let's do this. And, uh, you know, it turned Absolutely. out to be what it is. So That's what we love about you. You're bold and bodacious. So what else you got? Well, another interesting <laughs> thing, at the end of the night, after everyone cleared out, myself and uh, Weber, our camera guy here, he... We are walking around the side of the uh, center, and there was a whole bunch of anti-Trump protesters. Now, I heard there was supposed to be a lot of people show up. We got there early. We had to go inside and set up in our media area. So I didn't get to see it build up, but there was three people outside when we got there. When we left, there was a lot of people, and there was this big standoff between, I think it was five uh, of those horses with the cops on them, mm -hmm. and they were literally charging into the crowd of people. Wow. Little kids holding Mexican flags and uh, a bunch of the Black Lives Matter people. Uh, Huey P. Newton Gun Club were out there screaming, you know, racist cops, you know, anti, uh, you know, Donald Trump is a racist. And so 
you know, we might as well check it out. It's pretty interesting footage, so let's go to that as well. Infowars.com. Now we're standing outside of the American Airlines Center. Now behind me, there's a large group of anti-Trump protesters out here. The police uh, are starting to move the line of people back this way, starting to get uh, pretty hectic. So let's go see what's going on real quick. Come on. Yeah, so this wow, point in check time, this out, the, uh, hey. the cops started moving hey, so in on the uh, large yeah, group yeah, of people trying to push them out of a, I would say, a pretty safe place. They actually pushed them into a street where there's cars trying to leave the center. So I didn't really agree with that. So I didn't agree with see, any of it, but I thought that was pretty ridiculous. You're going to push all these people into a road where there's cars leaving the uh, center. They could have got run over. Well, they really didn't take how? any uh, security precautions and that. And this is just so funny to show how the, the left has become the right, because you look at how divided our country is right now under the current president. Imagine with Trump, I mean, we can already see this. Like I said, this was a last minute. I think he just planned this within the last few days. Yeah, he said he called up on. Mark Cuban and said, hey, yeah. man, can I use your uh, your center? And he goes, yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. He's a good guy, you know, but they, they, they were able to organize these massive protests. And so you see very passionate on both sides. And so that's what the country is going to look like. We're already majorly divided. Yeah, you know, like I said, it's still early. I don't know quite who I'm going to go for. I'm a little upset over the whole Rand Paul thing, uh, disagreeing with uh, not wanting to label GMOs yeah, and all well, that because it's going to affect the poor, this yeah. and that. Well, it's going to it's going to affect a lot of people because that affects our health. So that's well, something I think we should do. Yeah, I mean, you can't be against the secret the secrecy behind the TPP and then not you know, be okay with secrecy with what's in your food. Now, I know he was talking there with Big Agra, and so, of course, the real issue there is it's going to affect all of those farmers who have all GMO crops because they were sold on that. And so, of course, they don't want that because it's going to tank their business. And so, I, you know, I see where he's playing everybody there. But like you say, that's why people like Trump just speaking out, but he's not really bringing any, you know... Still early. We got time. So, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it easy. I'm going to sit back. I'm not going to jump on any uh, bandwagon, so I to say. I think that's very smart. But you better tune in tomorrow and watch The Money Bomb. That's all I got to say. I'm super yeah. excited <laughs> and pumped up. You have no idea. I don't even think I'm going to be able to sleep tonight because I'm ready for this. This is going to be yeah. extremely awesome. I think I'm going to have to actually take some knockout tonight. Behind the scenes <laughs> footage, it'll be great. <laughs> no, I. you're going to be insane. And I guarantee you'll probably be periscoping live. We're going to be... You're going to get, get behind the scenes with the crew, with everybody. We're going to be taking phone calls as well. Going to be a lot of auction items up for sale. Well, it's not going to be just gonna fun be for us. It's going to be fun for And don't forget the GOP everyone. debate. So we'll be giving our own commentary on whatever Trump's going to say this next time. So it's definitely going to be. <laughs> well, we don't have to worry about uh, Rick Perry now either in that. So Yeah, he definitely dropped out. But we will. Like, I, I got my wish. Carly Fiorina is going to be on the debate stage uh, tomorrow night. So like I said, I want to I want to see her move up just because I want her to debate Clinton. Now, thank you. Thank you so much, Joe Biggs, as per usual. Now, don't forget, you can actually pick up your Hillary for Prison t-shirt in the Infowars store. Uh, it's only going to be there for a limited time. I believe Joan said he's going to go for the end of the year with his shirt. So get yours, make people mad. And remember, the first person to get it signed by Hillary Clinton on camera Rob Dew is going to give you 100 bucks out of his own pocket. So be sure to do that. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. If you're watching us on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you tomorrow. 28 hours, baby. A clean, toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser. With concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others, Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different cleansing products. We use decades old scientific research to put together the Rolls Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research, and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. 
You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.